everyone and welcome to Building Ladder. So one of the most common questions that I get asked is how I print so much because if you've watched any of my videos you know I'm always printing something and I have said so many times in my favourite videos an eco tank printer it is the only way to go as far as I'm concerned for homeschool. I think I got mine in I think it was 2017 and it has just been my workhorse. It is literally it just goes and goes and the ink lasts for so long. You don't buy cartridges, you buy ink that you put into the reservoir, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's just fantastic. If you are going to make any initial investment in your homeschool, I would say to get an EcoTank printer because it has paid off so much. Now, my model is not the latest model because I've had it since, as I said, I think it's 2017. There are much newer models out and they are much fancier. And when this mm -hmm. one goes and obviously you know dies and obviously i will be looking to get a more um later model because they do have features that mine doesn't which i think are fantastic so one of the main features that i really want is for it to automatically print both sides you can do it with mine but you have to manually do it which is pain so more often than that i don't to be honest i just let it go um but that is um something that is if you can if i had the opportunity now to purchase one that would be my number one priority to make sure it prints double-sided everything else i think on mine is perfectly fine um, i've heard some people say that they're slower than your typical um printer but to be honest if i was to compare uh my my printer now to my previous printer and I, say it's a two-page document there isn't much difference if you're printing a 500 page document yes it's going to be slower but are you really going to be standing there and expecting a 500 page document to come out instantly if you are then i would love to know what you're doing because to me that's insane i mean who's standing there for five you know for 500 pages to print unless you're in an office or something along those lines you would just leave it and come back to it at which point then it shouldn't really be an issue and even then if i am printing for example a 500 page document i don't think it takes excessively long i've never ever had an issue with it being you know twiddling my thumbs i can always find something to do while it's printing i tend to print when i'm doing other things and just let it print and print and then i'll go back to it and you know pop the paper in and everything else um so speed has never been an issue for me and i personally don't think it's that slow um you know if you've had a printer in the past that's like instant then maybe you'll you'll notice a slight difference but to me what is the cost because can you print thousands and thousands and thousands of documents with just one bottle of ink highly doubt it so to me that is more important is how much ink it takes because then i can print high color documents and um i don't have to restrict um you know saying oh i can't print that because it's in color um and so on so to me the, the price of printing is more important than the speed um, but obviously everyone's different but like I say I can't imagine why for home suite you would you'd need to stand there for a 500 page document normally if it's something that big you would print it out you know ahead of time so I, I can't see why that would be an issue and to me it's really not that slow so the main thing with mine is if you can get it to print both sides then get that one um, but otherwise my model's absolutely fine so I'll show you now uh, my printer and um, where the ink goes in and everything else I have the Epson EcoTank 4500, so it's Wi-Fi, or you can connect it with a cable so you can use it if you want to. It has its tray at the front, um, as usual. Um, it is a photocopier as well, so you can copy underneath too. Uh, paper goes in the back of this style, and it feeds it in, um, and then obviously it comes out at the front. You can load the paper in this way too, but I always tend to put it in the back. I think mine has a fax function as well, but I've never used it, but it can scan, it can print, and it can photocopy. On mine, the tank reservoirs are on the side. I do like the newer models around the front, but it's not that much of an issue. I can just move, pull the printer out and have a look. So we've got all our colours here, and basically all you do is, when you're ready to um, fill it, you just pop your top over here, and then just pull the ink in. I purchased the Genuine Epson ink off of Amazon. You can get it from Epson as well. It's about $7.99 for me per bottle, and it, as I said, it lasts for thousands of prints. It literally is ink in a bottle. Um, and obviously you put it in the right reservoir, so that you wouldn't put this in here because it's magenta. But you just literally tip it in, um, you know, just watch it that you're not overflowing. But if you can, if you do, you just obviously wipe it up, then pop the topper back on, close your flap, and your ink's in. Now with my model, um, when you actually press print and you're printing, it will tell you on the screen 
uh, your ink reservoirs will come up and it will tell you how much it approximately thinks you've got left in your tank. Um, but obviously you can also check visually um, on the side of your printer too. You've got your menu section here. Um, so basically all you'll do is you'll scroll down to your setup and then you'll go into your maintenance mode and um, you will scroll down to reset ink levels when you top up you'll say yes you're going to do that and then you'll fill up your tanks and then you'll just put a tick in here by pressing ok which will show that you have actually um, refilled your, your ink so then your tanks when you print on your screen will, will be full will return to a full level again once you've actually printed so don't forget to do that because it's really helpful with my particular model you can also put it on eco mode and you can do that either via your settings as mine says eco here and also on your print settings when you actually print so you know on the page where you're selecting what pages you want to print you'll see on the top right hand side it'll say eco mode where it'll save 15 percent of printing by ticking that just select that and then it'll automatically put it onto eco mode as well and then the final complaint I've heard about these printers is that they get lines on the paper. Now that is because your print heads need cleaning and it's really simple. All you do is same as in filling up your ink, just go into your setup mode, go to your maintenance. And what I tend to do is before I'm printing something that's print that's colour heavy, I'll do a print nozzle check and it'll just print out the paper and it'll show you the lines of the black and also the colour. And if it's a bit fuzzy or there's a bit missing, I'll clean my heads. So then when I actually print my big full document in colour, then there's not going to be those lines issue. But say you accidentally forget, you start printing and there's lines across your page, all you need to do is print your head, uh, clean your heads. So just scroll down and then it'll say print head cleaning, you'll click OK. It'll start up sounding like it's about to take off inside it'll clean the heads and then you'll get the opportunity to print your um, checker again where it'll show you the lines and provided that uh, they're all full in black or colour um, then you know that you're okay to go ahead and print your high print colour document so that if you see the lines it's because your heads need cleaning um, so don't think oh the printer's rubbish because again I've seen the comments like that on reviews and things oh it's so rubbish there's lines all over the paper it's because your heads need cleaning and it's so easy to fix it takes a couple of minutes it fixes it print cleans the heads you print your um, checker again and then you're ready to go so I'll just show you what I mean so I'm just going to print my um, my little checker now so it's just printing the the little checker um, colour, so you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like when it prints. So it'll, if you can see the black and the colour, they should be like this. And if they're not, then there's something wrong with your heads in terms of they need cleaning. So say, say for example, there's bits missing, the lines, you know, fuzzy, or there's just a complete line missing entirely. Um, clean the heads and then reprint it again, the checker, and then it should like look like this. And then you're ready to go, and you will not get those lines again until it's time for your heads to need to be cleaned. So that's my little tips. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I love this printer so much. The only, as I said, the only way to improve it would be if I could get one of the newer models that do the dual printing. Amazing. Other than that, my little workhorse, my little work workhorse does his job and I've worked him to death and he's still going strong all these years later. I can't imagine how much money I would have spent on ink if I hadn't got him. I don't imagine because I was using so much ink before when we were in preschool and things, printing things off. So he has just been a saviour. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.